Oh, it was quite a mess. We'll talk about that today on Bible Time. Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Bible Time. Today, I have some encouragement for you. Uh, encouragement based on a storm. Yeah, um, <laughs> I slept through it. Uh, was last week, sometime, um, don't remember which day, in the night, apparently there was quite a light show. Um, there were, there was a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of thunder. And I woke up for a brief moment because I heard a thunder clap over my head. And then I went right back to sleep. And the next day, my wife's telling me how it was an awful storm and I slept right through it. But I knew it was a bad storm the next day when I went outside. I saw branches on the ground from our tree. I saw tiny little clusters of leaves just everywhere, all over the road, all over the driveway, all over the yard. And, you know, that just told me that the wind was strong and it was just blowing like the tips of these branches, the, the leaves, the leaf tips were just blowing off and going everywhere. And, you know, as the cars went by that day, they kind of cleaned up the road, but um, went out to cut the grass and I just see dead, dried up branches everywhere. And it got me thinking about John chapter 15, when Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruit. And then he goes on to say, I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is thrown away like a branch and dries up. Hmm, interesting. So if you really think about it, it just it makes perfect sense. If, if Jesus is the vine, there's the, the blood of Jesus is running through him. The sap, if you will, is running through him. And we as connected to the vine, Romans chapter 9, I believe it is, or chapter 11, one of the two, um, really talks about this a lot, how, you know, we're, we're grafted in. You know, we're not the natural branches, but we're grafted in. And we feed on that power that is flowing through him. If you take a branch and you cut it off and you throw it on the ground or if a storm comes and throws that branch on the ground, it eventually dries up because it's no longer connected. It no longer has the power flowing through it. And Jesus gave us a warning that, you know, if we don't stay connected to him, we're going to be dried, dried up and thrown into the fire. Now, that doesn't mean hell necessarily, okay? Because... In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, Paul talks about that everything will be tested by fire. Fire is for judgment, but it's also for cleansing. So, you know, the fire is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay? But anyway, what I'm getting at is we need to be sure that we stay connected. You know, sometimes in our lives we feel like, <sighs> take a deep breath, I finally achieved what I was trying to achieve. I finally got there. And now I'm just going to kind of relax a little bit and take it easy. And when we do that, if we, if we relax from God and become disconnected from God, we could dry up and not produce fruit. So how do we stay connected? We got to remember that God is God and we are not. And when we stay connected, we are constantly daily looking to him for guidance, support, for help, for encouragement, for courage, bravery, for being sustained in this life. We need to stay focused on Him at all times. Because if we start to lose our focus, then we start to fall into sin. Then we start to dry up, and then we're going to get cut off. And again, I'm not talking you're going to lose your salvation. I'm talking you're going to get harmed because you're not producing fruit. We just want to make sure that we're always producing. And God will come by and prune those branches that are not producing. So 
stay connected. Stay abiding in the vine. Because when we do, we produce fruit. If you find yourself not producing fruit, you find yourself producing fruits of the world, like bitterness, um, lustfulness, maybe you're producing anger, maybe you're producing things that are just not like that. There's a list of them in Galatians chapter 6, along with the fruit of the Spirit, there's the fruit of the flesh. If you see yourself producing that, take a step back and say, did I get disconnected from the vine? Did a storm come by and blow my branches off? Because that can happen. The storms of life can come and they can just kind of like break you and take your branches off, the tips off. You just got to get reconnected to the vine. And that sap will start flowing, the blood will start flowing, and you'll start start producing fruit again. So I want to leave you with this little story. It's kind of funny. Years ago, my kids and I planted seeds, um, maple tree seeds. Planted them in a Pringles can, and then we took them out in the yard. Um, two of them grew, one of them died, and eventually as we got them planted in the yard, one of them died. One of them eventually remained, and all three kids would argue who it belonged to, but it didn't matter because my neighbor came by. It was probably maybe two feet high, and um, my neighbor decided to cut my grass that day. Cut it right off. But you know that thing grew to beyond two feet in less than two weeks. My kids were upset that the tree was gone, but it got pruned back and it grew faster and higher. And it's a full-fledged tree now. So when God cuts off that bad stuff, it's not a bad thing. It's letting you grow faster and taller than ever before. That's your Bible time for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again all real soon, but not real soon. I'm actually going to take a couple weeks off from Bible time. Um, it's summer. I'm going to take a couple weeks to just kind of recoup. And it's going to be two to three weeks probably. Um, I don't know for sure. Maybe as many as four, but probably no more. Definitely no more than four. But two to three weeks I'll be taking off. And um, I'll just, when I come back, we will talk again. So enjoy the next couple of weeks. And I will talk to you again y'all real soon. God bless.